Before I begin, I'd like to uh, speak very briefly about today's jobs report that was just been issued. We received more good news. In August, the economy created 315,000 new jobs. The great American jobs machine continues its comeback. American workers are back to work, earning more, manufacturing more, building an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. But with today's news, we have now created nearly 10 million new jobs since I took office. Nearly 10 million jobs, the fastest growth in all of American history. In August, we also saw that the share of Americans who are working on our economy went up. Economists call that labor force partition patient rate. Working age, women are now, for the first time, back at work at rates not seen since before the pandemic. Wages are up. Unemployment remains near a 50-year low. And yesterday, we got that, we uh, got data that showed that manufacturing orders were up, but cost increases and supply chain items were beginning to ease. The week before that, we got data showing that price increase may be beginning to ease as well. The bottom line is jobs are up, wages are up, people are back to work, and we're seeing some signs that inflation may be, may be, I'm not overpromising, may be beginning to ease. Couple that with the fact that gas prices have now fallen 80 straight days, the fastest decline in over a decade, and the price at the pump is now $1.20 a gallon less than it was the beginning of the summer. America has some really good news going into Labor Day weekend. But we're also seeing something else critical to the backbone of the American economy. Manufacturing. Manufacturing is roaring back. Since I took office, the economy has created 668,000 manufacturing jobs, the strongest manufacturing recovery since the 1950s. And just last week, we've seen major American companies from First Solar to Corning to Micron announce plans to invest tens of billions of dollars, tens of billions, that's not a misstatement, tens of billions of dollars expanding manufacturing in America. We've seen major global companies like Toyota and Honda announce that they're choosing America to invest and build. None of this is happening by accident. These investments and this recovery are a direct result of my economic plan. Some people gave up on American manufacturing. Not me, not the secretary, not the American people. Make it in America is no longer just a slogan. It's a reality in my administration. I'm committed to building an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. You've heard me say that a thousand times. But that's what 